Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going out to New York and talking about the West Side, Genevieve's crime family, court news, Carmine, Pizza Polito, acting capo of uh, the Genovese's Little Italy crew, also has territory, other parts of Manhattan and Queens. Cop the plea uh, from his racketeering sports gambling um, extortion case this past week. Um, sentencing guidelines for this case are, are pretty moderate, and I would say that this is a, a great deal for him. Um, he's going to do anywhere between 10 months and three years, uh, probably end up doing about, I would guess, 18 months on a case where he was threatening to kill people. They got him on recordings telling someone that uh, he was going to break their face and another uh, debtor, he was telling he was going to put him under a bridge. Um, Carmine Polito is a serious individual. He is a uh, a big time earner and he's known as a big time tough guy. And as we know in this world, that can be a, a powerful combination and lead you uh, up the ladder in any crime family. Uh, Carmine is a favorite uh, of you know a lot of the leadership of the Genovese crime family and has been going back 30 or so years. He beat a murder rap uh, back in the 2000s after being convicted of it. It got tossed on appeal beat it at trial in 07. This is a guy that uh, back in the day uh, before he got his button or right when he got his button, um, it, it's interesting to note that he he had like hundreds of thousands of dollars of gambling debt, but you had a number of very influential figures in the Genovese crime family fighting over his services. And there were a bunch of sit downs, multiple crews trying to claim him and, um, for a guy that had a lot of debt, it shows you how valuable he was. Um, and he's very well liked by Bar uh, Barney Belomo, the godfather of the uh, West Side, the boss of bosses. <laughs> I always laugh when I say that. I'm sorry. Boss of bosses. I'm joking because people give me um, grief for, for referring to him as the boss of bosses. We know he's not officially the boss of bosses, but most powerful Don in New York City. He uh, apparently has a soft spot in his heart for Polito. He's been a golden boy uh, for a while, but it looks like he's going to do, go do some prison time, but really good deal that he cut. A uh, shout out to Jerry Capacey at Gangland News, who uh, broke the story of the uh, global plea. Uh, case came down in late summer, early fall of 2022 took down, I think, six or seven Gambino, or sorry, six or seven Genovese. Uh, Polito was at the uh, top of the indictment as the number one defendant. Um, so a global plea means that everybody cops and, uh, you know, the, the prosecutors can clear the case and everybody can just kind of do what they have to do for punishment and go on with their lives and not get this thing into trial or uh, these huge back legal back and forth. So Everybody copped the plea. Um, most of these uh, co-defendants are probably going to do a year or less. I'm guessing Polito is going to do a little bit over a year. You could do three, but even if you do three, you're only doing eight, you know, 18 months uh, it, until you hit the halfway house. So only other thing to point out, and this was in Jerry's column on Thursday, that I guess the hearing that was held in a Brooklyn uh, federal courthouse last week to come to these pleas got a little dramatic, a little explosive. One of uh, Polito's co-defendants, friend of his, Mark Fuhrer, I believe his name is, a former car dealership owner. Uh, caught, he eventually copped the plea, but he was like screaming at the, the court hearing and throwing around uh, accusations that he, is, that he was framed. His attorney claims he was just a gambler, just a, a big gambler, had nothing to do with uh, booking bets or collecting bets. Um, and then it should be noted that uh, Polito, since his uh, bus in 22 and, and getting bonded out, uh, has been, according to federal prosecutors, still you know, working every day in the Genovese crime family, handling business as usual, conducting uh, calls and meetings with uh, other members of organized crime within the Genovese crime family that he's not supposed to be. Specifically, there was a lot of communication with uh Anthony Romanello, capo out of Queens, who's now in prison uh, on his own extortion case. So 
just keep an eye out on on Carmine Pizza. Uh, you know, he's acting capo uh, for Johnny Hollywood, handles everything day to day in Little Italy and, and parts of Queens, other parts of Manhattan. But uh, he'll be doing a little bit uh, time in college, probably about a year, year and a half. But uh, it, for what he was looking at, this this turns out to be a great deal. Um, all breaking news out of all the five families in New York. Come to the OG. Come to Gangster Report. I'm Scott Bernstein. OG Pod out. Thank you.